Technical problems on Air Force Two led to a slight delay for VP Kamala Harris's first foreign trip. The plane forced to return to Joint Base Andrews shortly after takeoff. Eventually, the vice president boarding another plane for her trip to Guatemala. Here's ABC's Ike Ejiachi. Vice President Kamala Harris giving a thumbs up at Joint Base Andrews before switching planes. A technical issue during takeoff forcing her to turn around before continuing on her trip to Guatemala and Mexico. She's already met with the leaders of both nations virtually, but will now sit down face to face. It's going to be an, an honest and, and real conversation. So I do. I'm, I'm there to listen as much as I am to share um, perspective. Her mission? To slow surging migration from the region now at levels not seen in decades. Gloria Amador is a nurse in Guatemala. She says many parents leave because they can't find work. The World Food Program estimating nearly 4 million Guatemalans now struggling with acute hunger and food insecurity. More than 46% of children under five have stunted growth. In April, the U.S. committed $310 million in immediate aid. The White House proposing nearly $4 billion over the next four years. A stark contrast from the Trump administration that halted nearly all aid to the area. The Biden administration has quietly tasked humanitarian groups with recommending which migrants should be allowed to seek asylum in the U.S. The administration is trying to address the challenge of lifting some of the more restrictive Trump administration policies, but also not encouraging another period of increased arrivals. This Honduran mother reunited with her 14 and 10 year old children. She says she sent them alone across the border in search for a better life, telling ABC she cried every day when they were apart, but she felt she had no choice. Like any other mom, just wants the best for her children. She had to make the hardest decision. I don't know that I could have made it. The kids had been placed with the foster family in Ohio last November after crossing the border illegally. Their mother stayed behind to wait on her asylum case. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington, D.C.